Hi everyone, I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. Today we're gonna make creamy corn with bell pepper. It's a quick, easy side dish, perfect for summer. It's got a little bit of creaminess. It's got some vegetables in it. So let's go over the ingredients and show you how to make this quick and easy side dish. Okay guys, to start with the ingredients, I will link to the recipe below, but I've only got two ears of corn. I would say if you're gonna make this at home, the recipe actually calls for three to four ears of corn. So that's what I've got and that's what I'm gonna use, but it'll be just fine. It'll just make a little less than the corn area. We're also gonna use half of a bell pepper, any color, red, orange, yellow, green, if that's all you have. We're gonna have two green onions, and if you'll notice, my green onions don't have the root part. That's because after I get a bunch of green onions at the store, I cut the root off and just put it in some dirt in a pot outside, and this grows back. So I don't usually have the entire green onion in, in the house, um, but these will do just fine. If you use green onion, um, go ahead and use the white part too, just I'm gonna use the green. I'm gonna use a couple tablespoons of parsley, I'm going to saute it in a few tablespoons of butter. And for the creaminess, we're going to use some cream cheese, just a couple tablespoons of that. We'll also have a little bit of salt and pepper in there. So let's move over to the stove and get this recipe started. So guys, it's only going to take a minute to chop up these vegetables. So I'm going to show you how I like to cut up my corn and my pepper, and then we'll get started on the cooking. So. A lot of times people will put a towel down, they'll collect all the corn when they cut it off the cob. Some people like to do the bowl where you take one bowl and, and then you put another bowl inside upside down and then shave it all down and it falls into the bowl. I just get a big cutting board most of the time. Uh, I think it's easier uh, if you have a big cutting board, it, hopefully it will stay on the cutting board and not end up all over the place. So let's see if I can make that happen today. So the first thing you wanna do is from the stem end, you wanna cut a little bit off That'll give you a flat surface. And then you can stand it upright and starting at the top, you wanna cut down as close to the cob as you can get to get those kernels off. And hopefully they will fall onto the cutting board and not all over the floor. And guys, you wanna get about two thirds of that kernel off uh, to get down in there. You don't wanna go too far. And it looks like it's cooperating with me relatively well. So you want to cut all that down. Looks like we've got everything. So we'll move that one over to the side. We'll also brush that off and we'll run down the other one. So we'll do the same thing with the other one and actually that one looks pretty flat, so I think we're just gonna do it without. So again, run down, getting as much of the kernel off as you can. And guys, when we cook this, when we throw the corn in, it's pretty much done. Corn, you can actually eat raw, and you don't wanna cook the heck out of it too much, so we're gonna probably cook it for about three minutes after that, or if it's gonna be melting the cream cheese into it. So it looks like we got all the kernels off, so let's push that off to the side. And then we're gonna get our bell pepper. This is half a bell pepper. And then what we want is we actually want this mince pretty fine so it's throughout the dish. So this one I already have in a piece, so we're just gonna cut strips in it. And actually, that isn't probably as finely as I minced it when I made it a week or so ago for us, but that's gonna be okay, because I'm not a chef, so you don't have to be perfect. 
And we'll cut this last piece up. Guys, I'm gonna push this back to the side so you can see what I'm doing. The green onions, all we have to do is chop those into rings. If you have the white, I would still use two green onions, go right down almost to that root, and then maybe not use as much of the green. You're gonna get a little more onion flavor than I'm gonna have probably because you're using the white, which there's more flavor in that. But this is gonna be fine. If you don't want to use the whites, use them for something else and just do the green part. Okay, we got that done. And then just a few tablespoons of parsley, we're gonna stir that in. And then you can use the stems if you want. I'm just using a couple tablespoons, so I'm just gonna use the leaves. And uh, the measurements are what you want. You're not gonna mess up this recipe if you use a little more parsley or a little less corn, or I guess if you use too much cream cheese, it can, it'll be a little heavier there, but that's still adjustable as well. All right, we've got our ingredients prepped. So let's move over to the stove and get this cooked up. Okay guys, we're over here at the stove. So we're gonna get to the saute pan and show you how we make this. All right, so in the pan, we have three tablespoons of unsalted butter that we've melted. You could use salted. Uh, if you do, you just wanna go lighter on your salt when you season. To that, we are gonna add our half of our bell pepper that's been diced. Also going to add the greens of the green onion. And if you're using the whites of the green onion, then you would add those as well. And we just want to stir and saute those for two or three minutes until they soften. I've got the heat over medium. So we're gonna saute those, and then we'll move forward with the recipe. Okay guys, so these have been sauteing for, I don't know, two to four minutes probably to soften and heat through. So now we're going to add our corn. And get in there and start tossing it around to warm it through and just cook it just a little bit. We're also gonna add some salt and pepper. This is to taste. So a couple pinches of salt, a little bit of pepper in there. Get that mixed around. Now we're gonna, and I'm not even gonna measure this, but we're gonna take a couple spoons, a couple tablespoons of cream cheese. It's gonna take a minute to work it in there, but it'll start melting. And we're just gonna stir it in until it's melted, guys. Now that it's all melted in, we're gonna add our parsley and we can turn off the heat because it doesn't need to cook. So we'll stir our parsley around to give it some more color, a little bit of freshness. Guys, right, your side dish is done. Easy, tasty, the kids will probably eat it. 
Um, so there it is. There's creamy corn with bell pepper. So here's the pan of creamy corn with red peppers that we just made. Let's get it plated up so you guys can see what it looks like. All right, guys, there it is. Sweet summer corn, red bell pepper, green onions, fresh parsley, a little bit of cream cheese to make it creamy, a little bit of butter to make it rich, salt and pepper, and that's it. Great side dish for the summer. It's easy to make, just took a few minutes, and uh, that will probably serve the wife and I. Um, like I said, uh, Figure about three to four to actually make the full recipe. Uh, totally adjustable though. Uh, figure an ear of corn per person, then you're doing pretty good. Okay guys, that's all I've got for you today. This was a super easy summer recipe for you to make, especially with corn being in season. I'm sure it's good in the middle of winter as well if you can get the corn. I would try it with frozen if you can't find fresh. Uh, frozen's probably a good substitute. I wouldn't even thought, I'd probably just toss it in the pan and cook it through that way. You want to cook off some of that water anyway. So that's all I've got for you today. You can find me here on YouTube. You can also find me at SavorySaver.com where I have more gluten-free recipes. And you can catch me on Pinterest at Savory Saver to find a ton of pins of mine and other people's. Uh, so you can find some good recipes there as well. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you at the next video. Remember to like and subscribe so you get notified of the next video. Thanks, guys.